torn between wanting to know what's going on in the world and just wanting to watch crazy stuff on YouTube as a distraction. Allow my video to serve as your distraction from all of the crazy in the world. Let's talk about stupid stuff and have a good laugh. Welcome back. I hope you had a really good week, all things considered. I know that I've never really been a people-y person per se, but I kind of miss going out and seeing some of my friends and do not even get me started on missing live music. Ugh, music. If you were here last week, I talked about a lot of conspiracy theories involving music, musicians. Are they dead or not? Celebrities. Did the Beatles exist or not? Who knows? Apparently everybody on the internet. And you can't put anything on the internet that isn't true. Or so the commercial told me. This week I am taking a step away from conspiracy theories to talk about a bunch of weird news stories, or at least a few, that I found very highly amusing. I'm also going to be baking brownies, as a friend of mine thought that that would be a good idea. Since I've never made brownies from scratch before, that could be more entertaining than the news stories. So, let's get started. Warning, the following video contains references to sex, adult situations, content, and language which may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Now that I got my disclaimer out of the way, we'll get started. So, my very first story I found the headline highly entertaining, and then it just got more absurd as I read the story. There is a professor from Oxford who says that uh, aliens are breeding with humans to help save the planet. So this story is brought to us from Dr. Young... Hi Chi, who is a professor at Oxford's Oriental Institute. And he says, quote, extraterrestrials are breeding with human beings to produce a super species which could one day save the planet from climate change, end quote. He also states that these alien human hybrids may already be walking among us. And believes that he believes there's a strong correlation between alien abductions and climate change. Not really sure what that correlation is, but it's something he brought up in a lecture in 2012. He says, quote, it's not only scientists and theologians, but also non-human species who appear to be greatly concerned about the survivability of the human species. This is something that Dr. Chi tried to get the debate team at Oxford to discuss. It was rejected. He thinks that maybe human civilization may be coming to an end and that aliens can sense this. And this is why they are trying to get these hybrids out there. And he further states that if aliens really did want to help us all out, they should have colonized the Earth centuries, centuries ago, you know, to save us all. In May of last year, two men robbed the convenience store in Louisa, Virginia, wearing watermelon rinds on their heads as disguises. Seriously, how stupid do they look? One witness at the store said that she thought that the disguises fell somewhere bet between the line of um, stupid and clever. I'm going more for stupid. The witness further stated that, you know, the amount of time that it takes to hollow out a watermelon, to wear it on your head, just seems 
like kind of a waste, but only kind of. Also from last year, you get this crazy story. Con artists conjure up fake genie to dupe doctor into buying 72,000 pound Aladdin's lamp. So like I said, India. And there were these two guys. According to this doctor, one guy pretended to be an occultist and he rubbed this lamp and a supernatural figure appeared, which happened to be the other guy. Um, but when the doctor had asked, hey, can I take this home? Or um, can I touch the genie? He was told by these two men that uh, it might cause him harm. And so, no. But apparently, doctor must have convinced them that, you know, it should be okay. Because they ended up selling him the lamp for 7 million rupees, which is 93,000 American dollars, or 72,000 pounds. Upon getting this lamp home, the doctor realized there was nothing magical about it. No genie appeared when he rubbed the lamp. I'm sure we're all shocked to hear this. According to authorities in India, these two con men have pulled this con several times and have skirted people for several million rupees. And I guess they're on the run. And now for a story that isn't so much weird ha-ha, but weird, oh my gosh. There is a 58-year-old woman in France who has been fighting the French government for three years to prove that she's not dead. She lives in St. Joseph, which is near Lyon, France. And her, start, her story starts back in 2004. She was a business owner and had fired an employee due to loss of a major business contract. So this employee went after this woman's company and a court ordered the woman's company to pay this former employee the equivalent of 17,000 American dollars, I guess for the privilege of being fired. I don't know. Um, but since the judgment was against the woman's company and not her personally. When it wasn't paid, the courts didn't go after her. In 2009, this former employee then sued the woman, but the courts threw it out. But then in 2016, a French appeals court ordered the woman's husband and son to pay that outstanding balance to this former employee because they thought that she was dead. And the reason that they thought that this woman was dead was because the former employee had said that as our 58-year-old woman had not responded to calls and emails, she must be dead. So the courts were like, all right went with it and declared this woman dead in 2017. Well, this woman finds out she's dead and she's kind of shocked. So she goes to her doctor, gets a note saying, yep, she's alive. Sought the help of an attorney. Attorney goes to the courts and the court said, well, since 
it was a court of law that declared this woman dead. A doctor's note isn't good enough to prove that she's not. Which leads me to wonder, it's like, so we're just going to go based off of this former employee's word that this woman died? Nobody went to check to see whether or not this woman was still alive before they just decided, nope, she's dead. And why would you take the word of a former employee who's probably very upset considering she's been going after this woman since 2004? But here's a fun fact. In the United States alone, about 12,000 people are removed from the roles of the living every year. Whoever enters the social security numbers for the recently deceased into the death master index at the Social Security Administration, they commit a typo, and then bam! You don't exist anymore. Since 1980, more than half a million Americans have found out that they're dead by just going through the course of their everyday lives. All because of a typo. Okay, guys, this story. I decided, well, you know, I want to do some weird news stories. This story showed up a few different places. <laughs> and I'm really going to try and explain it to you without laughing hysterically. But here's your headline. Bodybuilder who marries sex doll says she broke just before Christmas. So this is the story of Yuri. Yuri lives in Kazakhstan. I can't pronounce his last name because he lives in Kazakhstan. Yuri married a sex doll. In Kazakhstan, the only thing that you have to have in order to be legally married is you have to be consenting adults, there has to be a male and a female, and you must be over the age of 18. And before you ask, I don't know how a doll gives consent either. And then I guess, is she over the age of 18? When was she manufactured? What if she was a minor? Is the marriage legal? Who knows? According to Yuri, he met his Margot at a nightclub and he rescued her from being assaulted by another patron. They had a spark. They fell in love and they started dating. Dating. <laughs> they dated for eight months <laughs> before Yuri proposed and she apparently said, yes. <laughs> he paid for her. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, so... <laughs> After Yuri introduced her to the world, she got a complex, <laughs> so he paid for her to have plastic surgery with a real doctor for actual cosmetic surgery <laughs> for a doll. <laughs> and then he said after she got her surgery, that she had changed a lot, and so it was difficult to accept at first, but he's okay with it now. He also claims that Margot had a waitressing job at a nightclub, but that, you know, she can't walk on her own. <laughs> She's a doll, so... He also
also said she doesn't know how to cook. <laughs> but her favorite Georgian cuisine is King Kali. <laughs> She can't walk. She can't cook. She was a waitress <laughs> and she likes Kinkali. <laughs> they both have Instagram accounts. Him and his sex doll. They post lovely photos of themselves together. <clears throat> According to Yuri, he is pansexual and he can fall in love with an image, a character, a soul or just a person and he likes the process of sex but gender and sexual orientation they're not important <clears throat> he describes himself as a sexy maniac and he states that his story with Margot turns him on more than sex so According to Yuri, some couples advice, quote, couples need to talk less and connect more. Margot and I realized that it takes more than words to have a conversation, end quote. Well, that's good because she's dull and I'm sure she doesn't have a lot of words that she says. <laughs> Unless she's a conversational wizard, I have no idea. So their wedding was really long awaited. They were supposed to get married in March of last year, but coronavirus shutdowns, everybody's weddings got postponed, but it went ahead and Yuri, that wasn't done. November 28th on his Instagram account, Yori posted a video of their wedding. <laughs> Here. That's why I never gave anything. Again, this guy. He was wearing a tux. Margot was wearing a long white gown. They celebrated with their family and friends. The marriage lasted a whole month and a half before she broke. He's now quoted as saying, she is broken. Now she is being repaired. She's in another city. When she recovers, it will be a gift for both of us. <laughs> and just when you thought the story couldn't get weirder, he cheated on Margot. He posted on his Instagram account a photo, a video of himself stroking this silver mask thing and he's just laying there I guess in his in his knickers stroking this mask thing and making weird noises I did not watch the video because seriously I don't need to see that the story's already weird enough he also posted a photo of himself with this mask thing wearing nothing but a similar colored strap which led one of his Instagram followers to ask if he was cheating on his wife. And he said, maybe I can't stand when she's away. So, recap. Man rescues woman from unwanted advances in a nightclub. She's a sex doll. I really don't want to know how that happened. Man dates said doll and proposes. Man pays for the doll to have plastic surgery. <laughs> Man proposes to doll after eight months and she said yes. Doll breaks and needs repair. Man cheats on doll with indescribable object because he misses her so much. Do Yuri's friends need to check his mental health status? Is this all just some sort of ploy to get attention? Maybe it's some sort of performance art that I just don't understand. <laughs> but regardless, it has to be a joke, right? This is a joke. This isn't serious. I mean, I'm not saying I'm judging the guy. 
<laughs> but <laughs> so here's the brownies. Um, I'm not. I guess we're just used to cooking with cocoa powder and not actual baker's chocolate because they don't look as dark as what you know I would normally think that brownies are. But they smell really, really good, and the batter tasted really nice. I did lick it off my finger, and I'm getting a thumbs up from my husband back behind the camera. Yay! So, what are your thoughts on all of these stories from today? Got any weird news stories that you want to talk about in the comments below that you want me to talk about in a future episode? What about the guy that married a sex doll and paid for her to have plastic surgery? <laughs> I just can't even. If you like this video, please give a like and give a subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified when I post new videos in the future. Until next time, be kind to each other, be compassionate, have a great week. Bye.